Crawling is acceptable. Falling is acceptable. Puking is acceptable. Crying is acceptable. Blood, pain is acceptable. Quitting is not. This is my road back to the stage. This is my road to redemption. All right, what's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle, back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. All right, guys, here we are, three weeks out from the OCB Commit to Fit Transformation Challenge in Norfolk, Virginia. And I'm feeling good, man. Um, just about to go hit some cardio and uh, on my bike trail. It is going on six o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't like to get out there when it's <laughs> when it's dark. I ain't about to get mauled by no damn deer. Okay, these these rat these 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 ravaging deer out here um, in Ohio. But anyway, um, so but I'm feeling good, man. Uh, I'm not gonna hold y'all. Uh, so I wanted to say. Thank you for all my new subscribers, man. Got a couple of subscribers uh, here recently, and uh, I'm glad I could give you guys some value, man, and, and, and some inspiration. Uh, I'm just I'm just documenting my journey, man. If you can take some value out of that, hey, take it. And if not, discard it and throw it away. Okay, um, you know, not giving y'all no real uh, like training philosophy or anything like that. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a coach. Um, you know, I'm just documenting my journey and what's working for me. Uh, so anyway, man, so three weeks out, feeling good. Uh, weighed in yesterday at 175. Um, I, weigh in, I weigh in every morning um, after fasted cardio. Now, there's this whole debate about whether fasted cardio is, is you know, more beneficial than and anything like that. But I know for me personally, it's beneficial because I feel like I'm tapping into that stored body fat. I have a lot of body fat to lose. Um, it's it's hard for me, especially when you're doing it naturally. Um, okay, see all these little bugs, like all these mosquitoes try to start attacking me when I start filming. But anyway, um, you know, I feel for me, I am tapping into that stored body fat as energy and fuel. Um, now, there might be a scientific thing behind it and it might not, but I know for me, um, I can't train with food in my stomach. Like I just, I feel weighed down. I feel like I'm going to throw up and guys, that's not the point of working out. Like I know a lot of people like to go in and they go hard and they say, if you're not throwing up, then you're not training hard. And bro, I ain't trying to do all of that. Fuck all of that. <laughs> anyway. Um, but you know, I, and especially when you're doing cardio, man, you don't want to be feeling weighed down and all of that stuff. Um, so I've been going out on the bike trails lately, and I think that's really been helping with uh, with the weight loss and everything like that, because it's it's much harder running on that concrete, man. That concrete is unforgiving. Uh, my knees and I just and I did legs yesterday, too, um, but I did cardio earlier in the day. So I like to do my cardio on leg days first, you know, uh, at least four or five hours before I even train legs. Uh, didn't go super hard yesterday on legs. Um, but I mean, I went, I went hard and I, as hard as I could, I went hard enough. So, uh, it was still beneficial. Legs are not super on fire. They, they little, they little medium rare right now, but, um, feeling good. So I'm about to go, about to go hit this cardio, do a weigh in and I will see you guys in the next clip, man. All right, let's go. It's time for redemption, baby. All right, guys. So just got done with that sweaty ass cardio on the bike trail and I, um, <laughs> got a funny story. Uh, so I just showered up um, at uh, one of the anytime locations that I go to. Uh, actually, the location I signed up at years ago, and um, because it's uh, it's about 12 minutes away from the bike trail where I run, and um, so I just went there to shower up. Of course, the scale was acting funny, so I'm just gonna uh, weigh in when I get home. But funny story, man. I just went to go. Uh, get some coffee at uh one of my favorite uh gas stations where i go in the morning to get my coffee and this 
this one lady's there and I haven't seen her in a while, but she was like, she was like, oh, like you look like you're losing weight. What do you on? Like, what do you mean? What am I, what am I on? Like, you know, she was asking like, am I like on Ozempic or something like that? You know, like a weight loss drug or, you know, she's like, oh, you look like you lost weight since I've seen you. Like, like it's been a while since I've seen you. Like, what do you, what are you doing? And I was just like, you know, just hard work, you know, diet and exercise. Like, you know, the original way to, you know, lose weight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why does somebody always have to be on something in order to like lose weight? And then she goes like, oh, I thought, like, I thought you were sick. Like, are you, like, are you sick? You had, do you have cancer or something? Like, why would you ask somebody that? Like, that's so just like, yeah. Um, that's like asking a, an overweight woman if she's pregnant. Like when, like when are you, like when are you do? Like, oh, are you having twins? Like, and she'd be like, I ain't pregnant, fool. Like, <laughs> so disrespectful. Like, I mean, like, what the hell? Like, what kind of question is that? And so she said, like, oh, well, I'm on, you know, whatever she said, and I'm like, okay, well, that's you. Like, you know, how about you just do it the traditional way? You know, just eat right and exercise. Like and just be disciplined, you know? And she's like, well, you know, keep up the good work, uh, you know? And I'm just like, <laughs> okay, like I will, you know, I didn't even go into the whole, like I'm doing a transformation show and bodybuilding shows and all that. I didn't even go into all of that because she don't care, like, you know? But put in the comments below, like, have you ever done that or has anybody ever done something like that to you? Like, just a disrespectful question. Like, that shit was weird. Anyway, man, so. That's all I got for you right now, man. I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys. So I'm back home, man, and I'm feeling good. So I'm not going to hold y'all, man. I just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, so like I was saying in the last clip, um, <laughs> the lady cracked me up because, you know, she was like, well, what are you on? You know, and I'm just like, well, what do you mean? What am I on? Why does somebody always have to be on something because they lost weight or, you know, they're gaining muscle, things like that? Like, it's just like, like I'm seeing a lot of videos now of people actually coming out and saying that, you know, they're on PEDs, you know, steroids. And a couple of people that I've even followed like that, I was, I would swear up and down. I was defending them like, no, like this dude can't be like, you know, he's only like 160 pounds. Like he can't be on it. Like, but they're coming out, they're coming out now and, and saying it. And that's like, and it's just so funny because I just feel like, guys, you can do it naturally. Like, I don't understand. Like, if I can only, like, guys, I had a hard ass leg day that I just posted. Like, and I've had a couple hard leg days these last couple weeks. If I can only lift 135 pounds on a squat, like, guys, that's just what it is. You know, the most I can do right now uh, is probably 205. Um, you know, uh, I've gotten up to 275. I, I was trying to go to 315 at one point and I just, I lift, I lift by myself, so I'm not going to try to hurt myself. But, you know, just, I don't understand like the whole, like why people want to do it, but that's their life. I'm not judging anybody, but guys, I mean, you can do it naturally. Like I'm in this for the long run. I just turned 49 guys. If I was going to take PD, I should have did that a long time ago. If I was going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like you can do it naturally. Like, just let your body progress in a in a slow, you know, way or whatever. Like, and I remember a bodybuilder, famous bodybuilder. He was very controversial. He was outspoken. I'm not gonna mention his name. I'm not hating on him. But he used, he said that years ago. Like, you know, even bikini girls is doing it. And even bikini girl, like, there's a lot of bikini girls coming out now t telling their PED stories. I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm mind blown right now because. There's a couple guys who like go to the Arnold and the Olympia and they be quote unquote calling out people. Are they natty or not? And this, that, and the third. And I just thought it was always stupid. Like, who cares? Like, guys, what does that got to do with your gains? Like, so, but now like all these people are coming out and I defend the sport so much. And now I'm just like, now I don't know what to believe. Like, <laughs> you know, who's on it or who's not? Who was the guy, um, the, the cyclist who was on it? He did all the Tour de France and stuff. Um, Armstrong, I think his name, last name was Armstrong. I forget. I was gonna say Louis Armstrong, but that was the that was the trumpet guy. Um, uh, I was, not Neil Armstrong. That was the astronaut. But you guys know, you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, and he was, you know, and he admitted that he was on steroids all them years doing the, doing the tour to France. And you would think, like, you wouldn't think this guy was like 130 pounds. Like, you wouldn't think that he was on it. 
but he came out and said that he was so but i'm you know it is what it is i guess like i'm i'm trying to do this shit naturally and it's hard as fuck like guys i still have um loose skin because i was you know when i first started my fitness journey i was 260 pounds like and i lost all that weight i got down to 159 my leanest that i had ever been when i did the transformation show in 2020 at the ocb uh battle of the great lakes naturals looked the best i've ever ever looked in my entire life even like when i first started my fitness journey my goal was just to get down from 260 to 195 and i thought i did something then you know and then when i did my very first show in 2017 i was i believe i did that at like 170 171 something like that and i thought i was lean in but no like once i got like lean lean i was looking good i felt good you know, I'll put up, I'll actually throw up a picture right here of 2020, man, my before and after. And uh, so right now, guys, like I'm at like 174. So, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I just feel like you can just do it naturally, man. Like just let your body naturally progress. But I understand some people are impatient and things like that. I'm impatient too, but I'm not I, like I don't do I don't do any drug. I don't drink smoke. I don't do any drugs. Like, why would I put a foreign substance in my body that I have no clue of what it really is, things like that. Because you know, a lot of these people are getting this stuff on the black market. You know, they're not going through doctors and things like that. So you don't know what you're putting in your body, right? But anyway, guys, man, I, that's enough on that subject. Like, do do what you do, I guess. Like, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you what to do and what not to do. I just think that PDs are stupid to me. Like, I don't understand it. But <laughs> but do what you do because because like the one girl I was just watching her video. She was talking about P, you know, her journey into PEDs, and then like I watched her show day show, and the girl like didn't she damn near didn't even make uh, the show because she was being stupid like and you know to say the show started at nine, and she thought she wasn't gonna go on to like twelve or one in the afternoon, but it's like she damn near they were like hey where you at like bikini going on like she like oh I'm at I'm at my Airbnb like guys when the show starts like just be at the venue you're just gonna have to sit and wait that's just what it is <laughs> you know um but that's neither here nor there but anyway so but guys the last thing i really want to talk about is um just don't be that person like who's the butt hurt sore losers okay and what i'm talking about is we just got done with the pro physique new year transformation challenge and i've seen this in other transformation challenges that i've been in i got third place in 2019 in at the one up nutrition's transformation challenge right i thought i won the damn whole thing because i you know i came in third i won four thousand dollars i was feeling good four thousand dollars is more i've ever had in my pocket at one time i was able to help my family and things like that felt good um and i've, I've done bodybuilding.com's transformation challenge i've done first forms transformation challenges and things like that and people they come in these groups and they and they act like they're so motivating and positive and inspirational and things like that but then when they announce the winners or the top 20 or their top 10 or whoever you know whatever their 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 rules are, are or whatever then all the butt hurt sore losers come out you know these are the people that think that they should have won or should have been mentioned or people that they think should have won or be mentioned you know they're not and then they come out and they want to start bashing the administrators and the, and the judges and things like that. It's just like these guys at the Olympia or the Arnold. They think like because they look good on Instagram, like that reflects in the show. It's guys, how you look on show day is what matters, okay? Doesn't They don't care what you look like on Instagram. They don't care that you can squat 400, 800 solid ass pounds. They don't care that you can do that. How does it make your body look on stage? How do you present yourself on stage? Is your tan just right? Are your muscles popping? Like, guys, it's the whole package for the for the for the girls. It's like, is your hair just right? Is your makeup just right? Is your tan right? It, how does your suit look? You know, it's the whole package on that day. You train months and months and months for that one day. Those couple seconds that you're on stage, and it's finally up to the judges. Guys, it doesn't matter what you, you know, doesn't matter what you think. So again, going back to the PED thing, you can take all the PEDs you want and you might get last call out. So what did all them PEDs really get you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but 
don't be the butt hurt sore loser and now you want to bash the judges you want to you want to bash the ifbb and the npc and then you want to bash you know this 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 organization and that organization or this transformation challenge group and da 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 da, da because you know like come on guys don't be that per don't be that person man don't hate congratulate like come on man like that's what's wrong with the world like like rodney king can't we all just get along <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird to me that people do that. You know, they it's a competition at the end of the day. Yes, we all want to win. I wanted to win. Like, I wanted to be, I was hoping I was going to be mentioned, you know, just win the, the, the last prize, which was $500. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I wasn't. Guys, you got to move on. You got to do something else. You know, they're having, a, they're having another challenge for the summer. It's called the Summer Skull. This is a shorter challenge. It's eight weeks. How about you do that one and and make you know more improvements? But there's a lot of people that drop out. There's a lot of people that they don't stick with it. They're not consistent. They're not disciplined and dedicated. Like guys, you got to get your ass up at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. Like get up before everybody. Go, get up early, stay up late. What what do I say? What did I say? My tagline in my original my level up series, late nights early mornings the grind never stops guys so a lot of these people you know they weren't disciplined you can see it in their before and afters because people start posting their before and afters at, you know when they do it some of the guys got super shredded some of the females got super shredded but that's probably not what the judges were looking for we got to accept it and just know that the judges made the right decision for them and their company and things like that so moving forward guys man just suck it up <laughs> so like they used to tell me in the army suck it up and drive on soldier like who cares at the end of the day you know it's what the judges see you know and we got to accept that okay um it's a competition at the end of the day guys you might win you might lose like so don't be butt hurt don't be a sore loser you know it's just like with the nba finals and and the super bowl and things like that you know you see these guys they want to fight each other and this that, and the third well fighting is not going to get you more points OK, it's like <laughs> whoever had more points at the end <laughs> is the winner. Like, you know what I mean? So, and you know, I, and for me, I might go to this this transformation show in Norfolk, Virginia. And somebody, you know, the guy, there's a guy that follows me on Instagram. You know, this guy, I think he started at six two sixty, and he might get down to like one ninety five by the time this thing comes around and he might win. You know, they have over 50 competitors, guys. Somebody else might win and be transformation king it'd make me sad and 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 i'll be hurt because you know for those few seconds because i feel like i'm putting in a lot of work but guys it's up to the judges it's up to you know them to make that final decision all right so really guys that's all i got for you man just don't be butt hurt don't be a sore loser hey move on okay I love you guys there's nothing you can do about that man i will see you on the next one please like comment and subscribe and I'm out. Peace.